In this video, we're showing you the first pickup trucks that we're gonna be retrofitting. We bought an International, Kibre bought a service truck, and Boss bought a Dodge. So let's go check them out. Carburetor was leaking fuel. The floors are, you know, a sandblast and you'd be off to the races. Yeah. I feel good. This will go. This will go well. This will definitely go well. What could go wrong? Absolutely nothing can go wrong loading an old truck with no brakes onto a trailer. So. Beautiful. Okay, climbing out. <clears throat> Go call on the wood. The clutch did nothing. <laughs> I think that's probably the right spot. We'll keep as much weight to the ass as we can. And yeah, well, uh, let me get some chains on it. We'll chain her down here quick. You good with that spot? Yeah, I'm good with that spot. You mind just leaving the tether hooked up while we get the chains on just in case? Ah, oh, shit. Um. I won't cross chain it then, but let's go right to the uh, front axle. I got a steer linkage right on this side. Oh. So what I'll do is I'll go this way and we'll just do the same on that side. All right. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. I'll look out below. I guess we got to figure out how good the truck is inside. If you're brave, I wouldn't let me go down the, the muddy hill with a pile. <laughs> That's worse. You're better off staying in. Alright, smile. And then, of course, the other truck we're doing is this 2007 Ford F450 with Keybray over in Drayton Valley, Alberta. So you can see the boys all here already got the motor ripped out. They're ready for that cat to go in once we get that cat. And uh, yeah, I'm really, really excited about the service truck industry. I think this is going to be a great application. On the back here, because this is such a long service body, we're just going to stick those batteries, power inverter, PDU, right at the very, very front of this because this truck's got to go off-road. I don't want to stick the batteries underneath where mud or anything might get in the way. Let's protect them, let's put them in the back. I think that's the best course. So this one's exciting because this truck is working for those oil and gas companies. Oil and gas companies right now are super interested in their ESG goals, their environmental sustainability goals. Uh, they want to see tier four emissions. A lot of these companies will not even let you on site if you don't have tier four emissions. So we're going to work with Caterpillar to make sure that this is tier four low emissions compliant as possible. That way people worried about those things where you do have an older truck that's putting out, you can retrofit it and make that older non tier four emissions truck tier four so that you can keep working on the job site as a hybrid. Okay, we're here today and we're picking up the new pickup for DeBoss Garage. While new to us, this one here is gonna be the one that they're gonna be retrofitting. They're gonna bring it over to Chase's house. This is a 1995 Dodge 2500 
What is so cool about this truck though is that it is completely useless. This is a two-wheel drive gas truck, which I mean around here in Canada, two-wheel drive is garbage. So that makes it prime candidate. We're gonna put a diesel engine under the hood. We're gonna swap it to four-wheel drive electric. And I think the Boss Garage has a couple special things planned for it too. So I'm excited about it. I think this is a prime candidate. This is cool. All right, we'll get her tied down and we'll get her home. You know what, I'm not here to judge people's choices. I know I'm gonna get some grief about going around the wheel speed sensor and then I'm gonna damage it, but we're switching out the axle anyways, who gives a shit? Thanks, Rich. I'm the cameraman. I'm not supposed to get dirty anymore. <laughs>